Indy Mogul. It's the anti-sex in the city. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Eat, Pray, Love. I'm having a relationship with my pizza. This is my no carb left behind experiment. I'm going for it. Why'd you come here? I wanted to find my balance. You want to get to the castle, you got to swim the moat. Do you always talk in bumper sticker? Every day. You have no sex for a long time, baby. I pray for you. Elizabeth Gilbert's memoir of her real-life journey has spent over 180 weeks on the New York Times bestseller list. That's the kind of book Hollywood eats up, prays for, and loves unconditionally. The film version is being produced by the kind of man whose presence usually keeps women from writing books like this, Brad Pitt. Releasing the film under his production banner, Plan B Entertainment, and in partnership with Columbia Pictures, Pitt has pretty much gift-wrapped this film for Julia Roberts. It's the perfect movie for her, a romantic comedy where she sports her famous light brown long hair that audiences so love to see on the silver screen. Yes, in her heyday, Eat, Pray, Love would be a slam dunk. But today, with a string of recent flops, some have questioned whether the first actress to break the $20 million salary glass ceiling has gotten too old to carry a movie. Hey! Tell that to Meryl Streep. Hopefully this will be Julia Roberts, The Devil Wears Prada, or Mamma Mia. Helping her out is writer-director Ryan Murphy, the quirky creative mind behind Nip Tuck and Glee. If he can do for her what he's done for musical theater, she's golden. With Eat, Pray, Love, do you think Julia Roberts is back on top? Absolutely. Yes, yes. I love this movie. This is like um, the other movies of her that she did before. But I think this one should get an Oscar nomination. for me. I've been to Italy, I've been, I'm from India originally, I've never been to Bali, but it's, it's real. At first I thought it was, uh, you know, a little religious, but it wasn't, it was spiritual, and that was refreshing. That's great. Some reviewers have said that her problems in the movie aren't that serious and she should stop complaining. Do you think that her problems were serious? No. They've captured the feeling of her also, her torment when she's, when her marriage broke up but also when she fell in love and how a woman feels scared about going back into well, that's a really, trust. Well, that's a really interesting yeah. thing. You know, a lot of critics have said, she doesn't have any real problems. Well, what do you say to that? I think every woman who's a woman has gone through different struggles. Yeah. Yeah. They should it's, make light of it. Yeah. I thought it was like a chick's flick and, yeah. I, you know, I almost fell asleep. <laughs> but it was actually really, really good. What do you say to other guys out there who are like, I don't know if I would enjoy this movie? They should come see it. It's Julia Roberts at her best. Did you read the book? I'm actually reading it right now. Oh, you now. are? Oh, great, yeah. great. So I'm going to finish the book. I'm in the... Just Does it the, seem faithful to the book? To you, you know what? The first lines of the book are... It's exactly... What do you give it on a 1 to 10? I give it a 9. I give it an 8. 9.5? So a 9, and you give it a... Yeah, the same, absolutely. 9? Okay, yeah. great. Thank you. It was packed in there, but women just don't like to be on camera. However, overall, the people we talked to, they gave Eat, Pray, Love an 8.5. And we're out here every week covering every major release, so be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. I'm Grace Randall reporting from AMC Empire 25, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies. Thank you.